Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we'll explore the new CC5 HD Facial Profile. The all-new HD Facial Profile delivers richer, more lifelike expression changes, adding fine detail to facial animations for film quality results. First, let's take a look at the benefits of the HD Facial Profile in Character Creator 5 with added details and integration with the Facial Puppet tool. Notice how, when we create facial expressions with the eyelids and eyeballs selected, they move naturally without intersecting with each other. When we select more regions and apply expressions, there are no mesh penetrations, even with highly exaggerated expressions. The Face Puppet tool in iClone also supports HD profiles. Characters using extended profiles may experience mesh penetration or distorted expressions when pushed too far. The HD profile solves this issue. The new HD profile also enhances the look of mocap animations, providing more realism and improved wrinkle folds for certain expressions. Additionally, it improves lip animations with a non-linear lip stickiness effect, giving lip movements a smoother flow and a fuller appearance. This non-linear morph animation is also applied to the eyebrows, resulting in more vivid expressions. For those familiar with Unreal Engine and MetaHuman characters, the new HD profile includes a HD face control panel for controlling facial expression dynamics. Naturally, this face control panel is also available in Character Creator and iClone, and once adjusted we can get more nuanced facial animations. Finally, the Unreal Control Rig and other third-party pipelines are fully compatible with the new HD profile. And we can activate alongside MetaHuman animation in Unreal to work in conjunction. Next, let's take a look at the HD profile sliders and corrective shapes. Click Edit Expressions, and you'll see that the character is using the CC5 HD profile. This new profile provides additional expression morph sliders designed to enhance facial animation quality. While the previous extended profile offered 160 expression morphs, the new HD profile features a total of 262 morphs. HD profile including 11 new sliders for the eyes, 80 for the mouth, and 11 for the neck. In addition to new expression morphs, the HD profile introduces corrective morph sliders. These ensure facial expressions look natural by automatically fixing oddities that can occur when multiple morph shapes are blended. You can view which corrective shapes are active in the corrective regions section near the bottom of the panel. The HD profile includes 128 corrective morphs in total. Next, drag various expression morph sliders to observe their effects. Under Currently Used, you'll see that the two sliders being adjusted trigger corrective sliders to fix the expressions. If we disable corrective morphs, those corrective sliders reset to zero, causing excessive combinations that distort the expressions. The HD profile helps prevent this issue. No matter how we adjust the expression morph sliders, the corrective sliders auto-adjust to compensate. Corrective sliders are particularly effective at preventing unnatural results. For instance, in the previous profile, a pouting expression would leave the lips partially open. With corrective shapes, this issue is resolved, and the lips now close naturally. Similarly, the older profile often revealed too much gum when using open mouth shapes due to their excessive strength. With corrective morphs, this issue is now automatically compensated for, resulting in a more natural appearance. Let's move on to mocap and motion editing. With the HD profile's expanded set of expression and corrective morph sliders, mocap animations maintain accurate expressions even in extreme acting. Strong muscle contractions now also generate natural wrinkle folds, enhancing the overall realism. In addition to live face, this capability extends to AccuFace, delivering even more realistic results. Because the HD profile includes embedded nonlinear morphs for the lips and eyebrows, the nonlinear curve sliders gradually engage the lips, adding a subtle, natural touch to lip animations. Similarly, nonlinear effects can be seen in the brow's frown lines, 
emphasizing speed and tension in the expressions. During recording, we also provide a nonlinear toggle option in Motion Live. We can see the difference before and after enabling it. You can also enable corrective expression in the Modify panel and observe the difference before and after switching it on. After recording the mocap animations, we can use face key to refine facial expressions by strengthening or expanding specific areas as needed. For more precise adjustments, we can open the HD face control panel. First, let's check if any parts of the animation need tweaking. Hold down control to select multiple controllers. Notice that once changes are made, a key is automatically added to the timeline. The mouth, for example, can be exaggerated for a stronger effect. Once adjusted, uncheck the Display Layer Key Value Only option to preview the full combined effect of the corrected slider positions. With HD Face Control, we can quickly enhance or fine-tune facial expressions for a more detailed and expressive result. Finally, Let's look at how HD facial profile animations are exported to third-party software. First, click Export FBX and set the target tool preset to Unreal UE5 Skeleton and All for export range. Once configured, click Export. In Unreal, click Import to bring in the exported FBX file. Under Import Options, select High Quality Shader and enable Import Morph Target to bring in morphs from Character Creator. Next, enable Import Animation and choose Animated Time for Animation Length. Finally, click Import. Once imported, open the Animation Sequence to confirm that all expression morph sliders have been successfully transferred into Unreal. Motion can also be applied to see if the morphs are working correctly. The latest control rig also fully supports the HD facial profile. Beyond Unreal, HD facial animations are also compatible with Maya and other third-party pipelines. HD profile characters can also sync with MetaHuman and apply their animations, which is a topic we'll explore in detail in another tutorial. The brand new HD facial profile for Character Creator 5 features additional expression and corrective morph sliders. These additions have significantly improved expression animations, delivering greater accuracy and naturalness for easily achieving film quality results. Thanks for watching.